morning everybody today is july 12th on this bright and sunday so bright and sunny morning with my friend next door mr pup dog um we never found out his name so we call him pup dog anyway he's greeting me this morning that's the little dog that i witnessed to you see he's not growling he'll bark but he won't growl at me no more but anyway um I know, witnessing to a dog. Hey, I'll witness to anything. Then leave me, tell them all about Jesus. But I'm coming to you this morning, and the topic is not Mr. Puff Dog. The topic is actually um, propagating, how to propagate a um, plant. This is my... Um, What's the name of this? Basil. Basil. I'm sorry. I, I, it, it, I woke up late this morning, so I'm trying to get it together, and I have not had my coffee, but I want to get this done first thing this morning, because what I'm told is that when you propagate a plant, it's better to do it early in the morning. So that's why I'm out here this morning. <coughs> my basil plant, as you all know, seen other videos, I love basil. And I'm going to eventually do some more. I want basil. I also love rosemary. I love cilantro. I'm just a vegetable and herb person. Um, but I'm here, like I said this morning, to propagate my basil plant. I had a request. I was um, with a friend. Well, he's a friend now. He wasn't then. But uh, he's a friend now. We just ooh, met. And um, anytime you have, see what I just did? This will go in the house. It'll probably go into whatever I cook tonight. I don't throw away nothing. Anyway, as long as it's nice and green, then I'm fine. Um, I was telling him that I grew basil. So he asked me, could he get some? And I told him, sure. So what I'm going to do is propagate this plant for him. And... Um, give him a stem and I'm gonna um, take a couple of more stems off you start right at the root and um, I don't know if you can let me see if I can turn this around a little and if you can see here that piece going off of the main piece here Oops. I'll get you to I've got to stop being so rough uh, with my plants because I felt a leaf come off but I'll get it but yeah, this little one that's growing off here, that can be propagated. You go to a main stem, and whichever shoot is coming out, that one you want to cut off and cut it evenly to the main stem. And you can take this and put it in a glass, a clear plastic glass, or a clear glass glass. And this will actually grow roots. And the person who gets it can then put it in some soil and grow it themselves. Now, for him, I'm going to let it root. And then I'm going to put it in some soil because my compost is very, very good, as you can see by my plants. But um, I'm going to put it in some, um, well, actually, I use spring water. And I don't, and the water out the sink. No, no, no. Don't do that to your plants. Um, you don't like it on your skin. Dries your skin out. You, you don't like it. So, you know, hey. Anyway, don't put it on your plants. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to propagate it. I'm going to cut it. And I'll be back with you in a moment to show you exactly what I've done. That'll be my first plant that I've propagated from my basil plant and I'll show you what it's going to look like. Be right back. I'm back. I have made a clean cut of my basil plant. This is my first one and I'm going to stick that down in some water and this is going in my window seal. Now it will sprout roots and in about a week or two, it will have enough roots to come up out of this glass. Keep the water fresh. Change the water 
every other day. Remember, use filtered or um, spring water. Don't use the water from your sink. It's going to slow down everything if it does not kill it. Or if you have some rainwater, that's even better. Just make sure the water is clean. This is going to um, sprout roots in about one to two weeks. Um, and when it does, then um, I'll come back to you with um, the transplanting. Because I'll take it out of the water and I'll put it in a pot, a temporary pot. And I will then call my friend and I will give it to him. But in the meantime, this morning, I'm going to do about three to five of these I haven't decided yet because you can also sell these things you have a Craigslist in your area and you probably do unless you're in 10 book 2 somewhere maybe they've got it too don't know but if you've got Craigslist people are looking for things like this so this is a way also to make some money sell them you know let them sprout put them in a nice pot make sure they're nice and healthy Put them in a nice pot. It doesn't have to be anything um, fancy, but put them in a nice pot. And get the temporary ones from your Lowe's store, the paper ones that disintegrate after you put them in the ground. Um, and then plant them. They can plant them in a pot or in the ground or whatever they want to do or in their raised garden. But it's also a way to raise money. Now, this one, I would actually charge. 254 after I get it in the pot and that's not a lot well 250 yeah because the pot will probably cost me about 25 cent but yeah about 250 something like that and that's a way to make money it depends on how big your basil plant is as to how much money you can make if you have several basil plants then think about the possibility anyway this is Portia from Life with Portia saying, when you have herbs like this and they get kind of big and you know you're not going to eat any of them, well not any of them, but you're not going to eat all of them, take them, propagate them, either sell them or share them. I want to, well I am going to sell some, try to sell some, but if not, I've got several people in my church that has um, gardens. And there are some who don't have a garden, but they can put these in a pot and grow them in their kitchen if they have a nice sunny window. This is Portia again from Life with Portia saying, share or sell your herbs. It's a good hobby. It can make money and you can help others. God bless. Jesus is my Lord. Is he on? Remember. He does love you, and you are one in 57 million. Look for my video on that about your unique or your special. You are one in 57 million. God chose you to be here. So use whatever gift you got to help people or to help people and help yourself. God bless. Bye-bye.